This is part two because uh, my phone uh, rang in the middle of this, so I'm just going to finish it. I said that we have this example of LeBron, who's basically a, a race baiter, and he's going to blame everybody. He's going to say how bad it is to be in the United States being black, um, and that nobody, they're victims, and um, it's the white man that's keeping them down. And in a small little area he's talking about in, in the NBA, I think, or maybe he's talking about professional sports, that black people have a different standard when it comes to um, discipline, let's say, because they're black. So the people that are, are, handing, are handing out all these, uh, this discipline is just doing because they're black. So he's making a racist statement about the leadership or the ownership in the United States, or in, uh, in these, in these um, clubs, teams, whatever. So anyway, Tiger was approached as well, and he basically just uh, sashays from that. Uh, what happened is, is that so many people got upset with him on ESPN saying that he didn't stand up for the black man, and saying, or tell the, everybody in the world that the president is a racist. Uh, okay. He was never called a racist. He might have said he was sexist, or sexist. He might say that he likes women a lot, but seriously, now they, they want to call him that. And uh, apparently, Tiger is supposed to just fall into that trap. There are people who are black that don't that likes Trump. You understand this, right? There are a lot of conservative black men and women on online that like Trump. Uh, anyway, basically that's all I have today. Um, I think we need to call this out. Uh, LeBron should be called out for being a racist because he clearly is. He's basically saying that uh, black people are looked at differently uh, in, a, in a sport that they dominate and they have the, high, the largest ch contracts of pretty much everybody. But still they're being, they're being uh, oppressed. Whatever. He, he needs to grow up and maybe some of these conservative black guys will get in a, him in a room and maybe he can wake up. But I don't think that's the truth. I think that Trump was right. He's very IQ, low IQ, and it makes this is perfect sense for him to say bullshit like this. So, also, uh, just to let you know that I had my biopsy last week, came back, and I'm clear, so everything's good, and uh, that's a good thing for me. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.